everybody, this is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be discussing the difference between locked up, locked in, and locked down. I got this kind of, it wasn't a question, but somebody seemed really confused in the comments, so I figured I would make a video to help clarify and for you guys to pass along to anybody in the future who doesn't understand the difference. So if you are interested in learning the difference between locked down, locked up, locked in, how those terms can be used interchangeably, how some of them can mean two different things, whether you're inside of prison, outside of prison, or if you just want to hear more of my crazy mouth, sarcasm, craziness, all over the place-ness, made up words, keep watching. Hello my loves, it's Swro. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, can we talk about how it's January in New Jersey and my neighbor is outside blowing leaves right now? But the show has to go on. So if you hear that in the background, I very much apologize. Again, it's January in New Jersey. Why are we blowing leaves? So number two, look at my boss babe earrings favorite new pair of earrings. I don't know if you guys can see them. I got these from one of you guys. I got them to my PO box, which is always listed in the comments below. Arlene, <sighs> I freaking love you, girl. These are badass. They scream row like you are yelling from the rooftop on top of a mountain. They have my name written all over them. It means the world to me. Not only did she send me this, she sent me a little thing full of goodies and a sweet, sweet card. I love you and I just wanna shout you out on a video. I think this is the second or third time I've shouted you out on a video. I opened the gift on a video because I was just so, so, so touched. I'm always so touched by your sweet words, by the gifts you guys send me, by the cards and letters I get. Oh, you guys are amazing. The DMs, the emails, I love you guys. Make sure that you subscribe and Ding that bell so you're notified when I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and especially on the days in between when I go live and you get to see all of this in action times 10 because nothing's edited out. It's real. It's raw. It's crazy. It's fun. Ding the bell and subscribe. I am also the author of a book called The Comeback Code. You don't have to be a prison wife or family member to get something out of that book. It's available on bit.ly backslash comeback code. I don't know if this intro is getting way too long. It is. Okay, we'll stop there. Let's talk the difference between locked in, locked up, and locked down. So let's start with locked up because it's probably what we hear the most. Locked up could be if anybody is inside of prison. You'll say, Adam's locked up. Where's your husband? He's locked up. Meaning he's in jail or prison in any other institution where they are away from us because they are in a correctional setting. That is what on the outside is called locked up. Also though, this term locked up can be used on the inside if somebody goes to solitary confinement, which also is known as the hole, the shoe, which is not shoe that you put on your foot, Ooh, girl's not flexible. She needs to go to yoga. Let's try again. The shoe that you put on your foot. <laughs> Hashtag fake Yeezys. My brother-in-law called me out when I changed on Christmas. I was dressed all pretty and I put on comfortable clothes because Hashtag, I guess this is the hashtag video. Hashtag ate too much, stuffed my face, was a true blooded Italian. My pants felt like with one wrong move, they would just boop right off my whole entire body. So I put on leggings, a sweatshirt, and sneakers when we were opening gifts. And my brother-in-law was like, nice feesies. And I was like, $50 versus 500, who wins? Anyway, the shoe, not as in shoe on your foot, it means single housing unit. It's also referred to as, I think I said this already, but the whole, which is just slang. In New York State and some other states, they also refer to it as the box. It is just solitary confinement. So if you hear me throughout my videos talk about the whole or the shoe or ad seg is another one, administrative segregation, that's all referring to solitary confinement. And inside of prison, you might say they're locked up or it's also referred to as jail inside of jail. So if Adam says, I'm going to jail, and he's already in prison, it means he's going to the hole. He's going to solitary confinement. Like, hey, so-and-so's wife hasn't heard from her loved one in so long. Do you know what's going on? Yeah, he's in jail 
or yeah, he is locked up. So it's kind of like the same as saying that they're locked up, they're inside of prison, they're outside of the free world. When they're inside of prison, it's jail inside of jail, it's prison inside of prison, so they are also locked up in their mentality. Locked in usually means if they are locked into the units. So they can move freely, but they can't move past their units. Let's say there is a party for the correctional officers and they don't want to have to deal with inmates moving around too much. They will lock them in to their units typically. You could also be locked into your cells and they might call that locked in, but typically that's referred to being locked into the units. And if they are locked into their cells, typically we call that lock down. So if a facility is on lockdown, that means that something happened. It means that there was a fight on the unit. It means that maybe there was an altercation between two inmates or an inmate and a staff member or multiple inmates and a staff member, or maybe there were drugs found. The list is endless. I could do a video if you guys want about all of the reasons why a facility might go on lockdown or why somebody might go to the hole. Sometimes they put the facility on lockdown if there's a water shortage or some sort of crisis, like a hurricane or something. If it's really hard to deal with the situation with inmates moving around freely, then a lot of times the facility will go on lockdown. A lot of times it's also for inmates protection. So if a riot is taking place, once it's calm down, they will have everybody locked in their cells and they will put the facility on lockdown for an extended amount of time until that heightened emotion settles. Does it always help? Sometimes it makes it worse, but it is not just mass punishment, which sometimes it's used for, which is also legal, but another video, or it is for keeping the inmates protected. As far as my experience, every place will be different. My experience has been with higher levels of custody in federal institutions. When they are on lockdown, they cannot use phones. They cannot use emails. They cannot, they cannot use emails. Is that proper English? They cannot use the computers to send emails. They get their meals slid to them under the door. They are not let out for meals. Oh my gosh, I meant the meal trays will be slid to them in the slot in the door, not under the door. Obviously, a meal tray will be too big to slide underneath a door. Whoops, sorry about that. They, by law, are let out to shower every 72 hours. A lot of times they will be let out to potentially use the showers and maybe use the phones or the emails to let their families know that they're okay. Sometimes not, depending on how strict the lockdown is, depending on what incident happened, depending on if administration has to flex and show them who's in charge, that type of a thing. Just depends on the situation that happened. As far as where I've always been, visits are canceled until further notice until the lockdown is lifted. Most other people I talk to, visits do actually happen during lockdowns. It just depends on the facility. So that is locked down, locked in. Usually, typically, if you're on the units, you're just confined to the units, so you can't go to the yard. You can't go to education. You can't go to recreation. You can't go to different areas of the prison, but you can move freely on the units, so you're not locked in cells. So you can still use the computers. You could still use the phones. You could still email. You could still work out on the yard. You could still mix and mingle with your friends if you guys are on the same unit and you have more communication with the outside world. When you're on lockdown, typically the only communication you have with the outside is through post office mail, because unless you are under investigation, which would be a locked up situation, would be in the hole, would be solitary confinement, it is a constitutional right for you to be able to get your mail. They cannot take that away from you. Unless you are under investigation and you're being watched and your mail is being held, a lot of times does that happen? Yes. A lot of times is it slowed down? Yes. But in a perfect world, by law, they're not supposed to be able to hold your mail unless 
it's under investigation. I don't know if I made it more confusing for you guys or not, but I just wanted to make a quick video to help you guys understand the differences between locked up, locked in, and locked down, and how we sometimes hear those terms interchangeably, as well as what's the shoe, what's jail inside of jail, what's prison inside of jail, what is all of this terminology. Prison lingo is like its own separate language. I'm somewhat fluent at this point, sadly, and I do not glorify or glamorize that. There is nothing fun about this. This is posting probably right after my video about the state of Mississippi riots and the lockdowns and the five inmates who lost their lives due to that. And in there I said, and I will reiterate again, there is nothing glamorous about street life. There is nothing to glorify about getting out and hitting the street. There is nothing cool or exciting about your loved one. Getting out, being on the street, committing criminal acts inside. We are here to learn from our mistakes, to take accountability for our actions, and to rehabilitate ourselves, get out and stay out, beat statistics, break stigma, and live happily ever after. And I know a lot of you guys have experience with this, and you're like, don't insult me by saying this. I already know all of it. Sure, but a lot of people are brand new and find these videos from day one or even before their loved one gets sentenced. And that's why some of these baseline ones are here for them. Or if you're not involved in the prison system and you wanna learn. So if you guys have further questions, topics, things you don't understand, and you want me to make a video about, just put them right in the comments or email me, Ro, at strongprisonwivesandfamilies.com. That's R-O at strongprisonwivesandfamilies. Dot com. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to it all being behind you. Lord knows I am too. And let's see it happen in 2020. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, now the leaf blowing is getting even louder. What are you blowing? It's January. The leaves all fell in November.